Okay guys, in this video I will discuss about the forces that are acts on any baton. Okay, and how that forces are developed in any baton. So, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited. Okay, so at the very first, if you are a beginner in that case, definitely the question will arise in your mind is that what is baton? Okay, so in that case it is for you and if you are a pro in that case you can skip it. You know that during construction of any structure you need to use a column so steel structure is no different okay but the problem is when the axial load or the lateral load that are being applied over this column or for which we are providing this column is very large in magnitude in that case any single section any single column section is not sufficient okay so if this axial load or this lateral load is large in magnitude in that case we cannot cater that load by using a single section okay so what you have to do yes very simple we have to use multiple section to form a single column right and this looks something like this one here you can see that to carry this vertical load as well as the lateral load we have used two section to form a single column okay the section may be some i section or maybe channel section okay or maybe angular section okay now you have used two section to form a single column next step is you have to add them or you have to connect these two section there are two ways to connect two section first is you can use lacing like this okay and here all the joints are pin joint right so you are basically forming a truss here you can see that we have used this lacing to connect the two column section to form a single column and the second option is you can use a plate that may be riveted or welded with the mother section and this plate is known as batten got it so now you have understood what is batten great now what are the forces acts on batten okay great now just consider this one this example here this is the vertical load acting on this column and this is the lateral load acting on this built up column right okay now if we consider the load path or force flow for this vertical load what will happen simply this will travel to this foundation through this mother section okay but if you consider this lateral load in that case it will not use the mother section for its path it will travel like this okay just like this one and finally to the foundation okay so if you have axial load in case of a laced column in that case the axial load will transfer to this foundation through this mother section very simple and if you have a lateral load in case of a laced column, it will travel just like a truss to this foundation. Okay. But what will happen in case of a built up column where you have used this batten to connect this to mother section? Definitely for the axial load, it will go through this mother section to this foundation. Okay but if you have any lateral load acting like this then there is no such member to carry it diagonally okay so this is not possible so how this lateral load will be transferred from this point to this foundation this is a little bit different compared to the list column okay so to understand this load path just consider this portal frame okay here all the joints are moment just like batten every connection is moment connection okay now you have applied this lateral load let's say this is a b okay and you have let's say n number of column here n is definitely two then how the beam will behave well to analyze this portal frame you can use portal method and in the portal method you know that in the middle of the column we assume internal hinge okay and this lateral load get divided 
like this v y n and v y n okay and in this side of this hinge there is another internal force complementary that is v y n and this is also v y n okay the same is also valid for this hinge okay here is your v y n and in the bottom this is v y n and here you can also replace n by 2 okay here we have only two columns so n is simply 2 so this is v y n and here is v y n this is the simple analysis of this portal frame due to this lateral load v okay now just consider this middle one this one here you can see that this is the column the beam is fixed with this column this is the part of the column the beam is fixed and at the top we have v by n here is also we have v by n agree and at the bottom we have v by n and same this is also v by n now assume that the spacing of this column is s and the center to center distance of this beam is c this is also c so the distance between these two forces v by n and v by n is c so here you can see this is nothing but a couple so in this beam at this support we have a couple acting like this clockwise and the magnitude of this couple is just get it separated so this is the couple and the magnitude is v by n times c very simple and this is also clockwise in this right support so this is also v by n times c now this is the fixed end beam and at the both end you have a moment that is v c by n and v c by n both are clockwise so what is the shear force diagram very simple the shear force diagram will be like this let's say this is the shear force and this is the shear force okay so if this is s because the spacing between the column is s so the shear force is getting as 2 vc by n because both the moments are clockwise so 2 vc by n that is divided by the lever arm that is s okay so this is s so our shear force is coming as 2 vc by n time s that is it so this is all about the portal frame and the analysis of this beam now just replace this portal frame with this built up column and get separated any particular batten so here if the lateral load is v this is v by n 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 okay the center to center distance is c very simple the spacing is s right so what is the moment acting in this and in this joint the moment is yes this one v c by n okay v c by n okay and the shear force is again 2 v c by n time s okay this is shear force s f that is all about the forces acting on batten and if you like this video don't forget to share it